friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for I literally just realized two minutes ago, the last vlog of the year. This is at least my last planned vlog. I've learned in years past of YouTube that no one's really on YouTube watching the week of Christmas. I'm not either because I'm with family and it's busy, busy. So um, the last year, maybe the year before that, can't quite remember, I took off basically the week of Christmas until the new year. And I might do that again. We'll see. We'll see if I'm feeling inspired to put out a little bonus vlog or something until then, but I'm so happy you're here. Um, I think this is gonna be a good vlog because I actually have a mission for today's vlog. I want to encourage myself today and tomorrow to really lean into the good parts of being single, to really learn how to embrace that and find the joys within that because I haven't been single in six years and it's going to take some intentionality to um, learn to not hate. <laughs> this new phase of life. We are going to be doing things that I'm looking forward to. For example, have happy hour plans with a girlfriend tonight. I don't drink, but you better believe I'm going to get the $5 gluten-free truffle fries because that's on their happy hour menu. And I wanna do little things that I feel like previously I had to rely on someone in a relationship to do for me, like flowers or jewelry. And I can do that for myself, you know? It's gonna be intentional about learning to enjoy singleness. We'll see if we're successful, but I'm so happy you're here. So to kick off today, I wanna get dressed up. I wanna feel cute. I actually asked on my Instagram stories, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, I post on my stories pretty constantly. Um, but like what y'all do to feel more confident because I wanna do a video around that or a blog post or something. And by far the most common response was, I just get real dressed up, real cute for no one but myself. And I feel so confident. And I was like, I need to do that more. So today I wanna get dressed up for me. For no one else um and i also love getting dressed up with new jewelry i know i just mentioned that that's something that in my mind has always kind of been like oh like a partner will treat you by getting you jewelry but no no we can get jewelry for ourselves you know so i did get myself two new pairs of earrings and i want to decide which one is going to fit the vibe i'm going for today these are from Ana Luisa. I am partnering with them on this video. You've probably heard me talk about Ana Luisa before because I've loved them for a long time. I'm actually surprised how many people come to me for jewelry recommendations, and I think it's because I really like jewelry. And I have different responses for what they're looking for, but if someone is like, I want accessible price point, but good quality jewelry that will hold up over time, this is what I recommend because their prices start at $39. So they don't have any of that like luxury markup stuff, but still such good quality. Actually, they're carbon neutral, fair trade, and they recycle some of their metals. They also do things in small batches. Um, so not this like mass production kind of thing, which is how they make sure that the quality is top notch. Oh. And I absolutely love this. I actually have a secret. I'm getting my seconds redone in January. I have an appointment. Some of you might've been around for the traumatic experience of me getting my ears pierced, but they never healed because I went to a place with a gun. New appointment in January for a place with a needle. <laughs> so I got these because I thought they'd be so pretty stacked. Also, this video I think is coming out on the 22nd and starting on December 24th, First, so yesterday when this comes out, they have a new sale happening. So I will have my link down below um, and that link will take you to the sale. There's 10% off, but also they have some last chance items that will be 60% off, which is really good. Okay, these are adorable. They're the tiniest little dainty, like three stone studs. Wouldn't these be so pretty as seconds, especially layered with, these are $39 layered with this. I think would be so cute. I love little hoops. I think that they stack really well if you do do multiples in a row. I don't have anything like this, so I kind of want to wear this today as something new. First step of getting ready. Check. Done. I already feel happier. Um, thanks again to Anna Luisa for partnering with me on this video. Feeling cute. I'm gonna feel cuter once I get on a cute outfit, so let's go do that. It's very rainy today, so a rainy cute outfit. Do those exist? We'll find out. Welcome to my closet. Okay. It's actually getting up to the 70s today. This shirt makes me feel confident. Anything with like a, not square neck, kind of sweetheart, kind of square neck, kind of somewhere in between. And I could layer it with a jacket, maybe something like that and some jeans. Let's try it on. I actually 
I, I actually am not feeling this one right now. Let's try again. <laughs> Similar vibes, better execution. I like this one, I do feel cute. <laughs> this little neckline. I need more of this in my life. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go take Max on a walk. And then we're gonna run some errands um, because you don't wanna be all dressed up with nowhere to go, you know? Right? <laughs> Quick car chat. Here's my plan. Um, something that makes me so happy is gift giving. Truly. Actually, this is what I was gonna <laughs> this is what I was gonna ask you guys. I was actually struggling falling asleep last night and kind of thinking about love languages and very clearly I know my giving love language, like when I show people love, is gifting. Like I love to give people things. Um, and my receiving love language in a relationship is for sure touch, but I don't feel that way in like platonic relationships, friendships, family. And I was thinking through every single love language and I don't know how I receive love outside of a relationship. Like when I am given gifts, I love it, but I feel awkward about it. Um, when people give me verbal words of affirmation, I feel super awkward. Touch has been a new thing that if it's not from a partner, I get kind of weird about it. Um, what are the other ones? Acts of service. Maybe that's the, le no, cause I feel like I'm inconveniencing someone. And then what's quality time? Lately I've been better about it, but I used to just be stressed about time. <laughs> so I, I don't know how I receive love outside of a relationship. Showing love and then receiving love in a relationship are very clear, very clear choices. But all that little car talk thoughts to say. Something that I, I need to do slash I thought would be really fun is finally wrap all the Christmas presents I got for my family. Um, like I said, giving is my love language. So it's something I get really excited about and you guys know that I am a packaging snob. <laughs> I just love packaging and branding and will totally buy something based off the label. Um, so I kind of feel the same way about gifts. So I want to find really special gift wrap. So I just pulled up to a paper source. I've never stepped foot in a paper source ever in my life. And um, I checked online and the wrapping paper seems reasonably priced, but I feel like I'm going to get bamboozled into spending like $20 on a roll of wrapping paper. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, 10% off. And then I want to get myself flowers. We're across the street from a Whole Foods. So I think we should go in there and get flowers. I always regret getting flowers from Whole Foods because it's a small selection and it's pricier, but there's no Trader Joe's nearby. So in, in the name of convenience, I think that that's our plan and a good plan. So let's go see what Paper Source is all about. I really lucked out here. It's all buy one, get one half off. Ooh, wow, the choices. I like these more like neutrally kind of colors. Those are fun mistletoe. <gasps> wow, the choices. Well, joke's on me. Look at how many flowers, oh my goodness, are in this Whole Foods. <gasps> this is making the Pasadena Whole Foods look like a sad little flowerless land. Ooh, tulips. I love tulips. This is gonna be a hard decision. Can't wait to show you all the wrapping paper I chose. I got four rolls. I'm excited about these flowers. This is Kala for the kitchen. Have you ever heard of a rose lily? Cause I love lilies and I love roses, but I've never heard of a rose lily. These look like there's like layers of petals inside each one. I'm really excited. Let's go home and wrap some Christmas presents. I wanna see the wrapping paper I chose. Okay. I chose two very obviously Christmas ones and two not Christmas ones because I thought mixed together, it'd be a nice balance. And the not Christmas ones are neutral. So I did go with the little mistletoe. I like that the background is like a, like a Tiffany blue, like a hint of green, but not like a Christmas green. I thought this was so cute. Little trucks with trees and they're sparkly and it's on just like a neutral um, unbleached paper. And then, I thought this little polka dot was really, really cute. It's just black and white. It makes in with this well. Also, I can reuse these for birthdays if I don't use it all up. And then this, it really has New Year's vibes. It's kind of like a scalloped, almost like a uh, fish scale. That's the word I was trying to think of, kind of pattern that I thought would be really pretty. So when you mix them all together, that's a good balance, isn't it? I'm gonna put out the flowers I just bought for myself and wrap some presents. And in the background, listen to a sermon that a friend actually just sent me from the new church that I've been going to. 
um, called Let's Flip the Script on Singleness or something. It's one of the pastors there. He's 33, unmarried, um, which is kind of rare in a church setting and kind of preaching about the beauties of singleness, which is my theme today for my life. So it's good timing. <laughs> Nights telling a letter, stamp and mail it out. We did our best, couldn't have done better. I think we should be proud. But you held me down when I was living up. Back and forth, but never together. So I'll stand up and walk out and make my way alone for now. Heavy as a feather, pure as the driven snow But watch your back, it's heartbreak weather I think it's time you go My mind's made up My mind's made up We keep doing this, but nothing's getting better so Hi, from 5pm, Mikkel I went to get coffee with a group of neighbors and just hung out for a while it's a lot of fun. I just love how friendly everybody is here. <laughs> Not to say that people in LA weren't friendly, but everybody's very much in the mood to meet new people. I don't know if it's just the apartment I'm in or what, but it's been very welcome and needed. And I'm gonna quickly freshen up. Look at, my hair was perfectly straight this morning and this is what the Texas humidity does. <laughs> it's gonna take my hair a while to readjust to this humidity, but I'm going to freshen up and my friend Alex is going to be here in not too terribly long and we're going to go to our girls night happy hour. Also, very pleased. This is only three of the four wrapping papers, but very cohesive, liking the way it looks. These are the ones I'm giving soon and then the other ones I think I might wrap in Bernie because they're just for family, so that will be Christmas Day presents. Also, a real quick discussion, conversation about Christmas. Speaking of Christmas presents, today on my Instagram I posted that I was filming my last vlog of the year and I actually got a big handful of DMs asking if I was going to do any more Christmas content or anything of the sort. Um, you know, vlogmas, tr typical YouTube December type things and I, it's probably obvious but this year I'm not doing a lot of Christmas content. Um, I'm trying to be kind and gentle to myself and I know I've kind of talked about holidays in some videos, but I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday of the year, but this year, for obvious reasons, I'm just not really the most in the Christmas spirit. There's things I do love and I'm excited for, like wrapping presents and spending time with family, and I have a sugar cookie decorating date with a few of my best friends, but otherwise, I just simply don't feel in the mood to put up Christmas decorations in my house because things like that are kind of just a reminder to me right now about the season that it is. So I don't know why I'm sharing this. Maybe just if it gives anyone else permission to be gentle with themselves and to participate in the things that gives them joy um, in, a, in a holiday season and to feel like they don't have to participate in everything in the name of tradition or whatever if it's difficult. Cause that's kind of where I am. I'm feeling out each activity individually, I'm not forcing myself to do anything Christmassy or wintry. Um, but if something sounds fun, I'll do it. And then if not, it's totally fine. There's always next year. I'm sure next year I will be more in love with Christmas again and more ready to do all the content, all the activities, just ebbing and flowing and feeling out what I'm good with right now. just left. We had a great girls night out. Um, pardon my sports bra. I took off my strapless bra because it was just too much once I got home. Put on a sports bra underneath this shirt. But guess what? All that food that you saw was $10 a person. 
happy hour for food is where it's at. And then we came back and we had kombucha in a wine glass. Kombucha in a wine glass feels like such a treat. This was actually Alex's idea. I have one episode left of The Chocolate School on Netflix. It's something that I've had on in the background. I haven't been super invested. Might watch that last episode while I tidy up the house, fold a load of laundry, and get ready for tomorrow. Another full girl's day with one of my best friends, Madison. She's gonna come sleep over, like literally have a slumber party in my bed. And these are things that are harder to do when you're married. So that's why I'm taking this opportunity now to really enjoy being able to do these things when I'm single. And I'm excited for tomorrow. We have no plans. We're just gonna be free as a bird and figure out what sounds like the most fun and or restful to do. And I'm looking forward to it. So laundry, Netflix, good night, see you tomorrow. Good morning, it is Wednesday. It's another really gloomy day outside. Did I just forget Texas was real gloomy? Or is this just the season? It feels like Seattle, like since I've moved here, the sky is very Seattle, but I woke up pretty early this morning and just knocked out a ton of computer work so that when Madison gets here between 11 and 12, I can hopefully just play for the rest of the day until tonight when more things will come through. But I think I will buy myself a solid eight hours of playtime, which is great. Um, and before she gets here, got a notification that I had a package that I had ordered a while ago, and I'm really excited. I had never heard of this brand before, it's called Holistic Habitat, but I just Googled like small, unique home decor brands, small brands that sell unique home decor, like every combination of those words, and found this one because I wanted a couple taller, slightly more modern sculptural vases and things of the sort to help finish off some of the bookshelves. My, my style is a lot of older, unique, vintage, thrifted things, but balanced with some really modern, funky pieces. Okay, I'm just gonna dig till I, oh, I found something. Oh, wow, okay. Oh no, I'm about to make a mess. No, 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 no. Oh, cool. I wanted more color, and I think that this is gonna be really fun either up on the bookshelf or on my media console. And I can't quite remember the second thing I got. I remember it was also a vase, jar, jug situation. Oh, oh, it's heavy. Is that not so fun and sculptural? Okay, now the mission is to find things to put in these. So this is kind of what I've landed on, at least for now. I think I'm gonna like it a lot better once there is something tall in this and something like warm toned to balance it out. But I was trying to keep the two plants kind of away from each other, trying to not keep it too crowded. And I tried hanging my subscriber plaque on the wall. Maybe I could just hang it lower this time. Like maybe like here. I don't know, what do we think about that? Oh yeah, that feels more intentional. I'll show you. I am gonna live with this for a while and see how it feels. Maybe order some sort of thing for in there, but gotta live with it for a while. <laughs> look who just got here and has bangs. Here they are. They look so good. Like, I think that you're about to start a bang movement. <laughs> I think a lot of people are about to get bangs after seeing your bangs. Bang, bang. Oh. We are gonna um, have our day revolve around food because she's my best friend and she knows how much we both love food. Time to eat. All gluten-free foods. Yes. Cute girls day. Cute girls Three, day. Two, one. I would update y'all. We have been having a chill the last couple of hours. Um, officially put on comfy clothes. Max has just been a cuddle bug, so I was like, you're gonna update them with me. And uh, watching Selling Tampa 
which has been very interesting. It's selling Sunset's new spinoff. And they're introducing another one too. I can't remember the city, but I realize that they're fully leaning into the Real Housewife um, structure of things, which I've never watched Real Housewife anything, but clearly very successful. So very smart of them. We're thinking about hanging around the house, but then going to venture out to find dessert. <laughs> yes, dessert of some sort tonight. I was just showing y'all the other day some Veluspa candles, and this one's new to me. It's Santal Vanille, vanilla, and it smells delicious. 10 out of 10 recommend. Just telling them the candle that you got. Yay. It's so good. I'm so glad. It honestly, I the, I got her a French Cade lavender, yes. and I don't know which one I like better now. They might be tied. <laughs> Back in my messy room. <laughs> Please ignore my inside out pants on my bed. <laughs> um, Madison and I are gonna eat our ice cream and just hang out and chat, and I know I would forget to tell you guys goodbye, so I wanted to be intentional about ending the vlog, and thank you for being here on this challenge with me. Um, I'm really challenging myself to see the beautiful parts and leaning into those I think is going to be very healing for me I also wanted to say thanks again to Anna Luisa for partnering with me on this video again I'll have all the information and the sale details linked down below, but I'm excited to see where this journey goes in the long term Max is letting himself into the room. Hi, bud. Did you want to say goodbye to everybody? Did you want to say goodbye? <laughs> yeah, okay. Say goodbye. I love y'all so much. I will see you, I don't know, maybe next year. Wow, is that, wow, is that true? <gasps> Have the best Christmas. I love you. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you, here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all.